Hey everyone, how's it going? It's your boy Krabzy Crypto, and for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to mine Avian Network coin. And you might be wondering what this coin is and like some info about it. Well, I'm going to let you know in this video. And just to let you know off the bat, this is not like paid in any way. This is not like me trying to pump this coin or anything like that, like some YouTubers and um, social media people do. I've just been interested in this project and figure it's about time to share it with you guys so you can get in on it as well and start mining it because now the coin itself has been built up properly and like the project itself is stable enough where I can be confident to like release it to you guys in order to start mining it and help the network and such. So yeah, this is out of my own well-being, just me choosing to go ahead and do a video on this. But you might be wondering why I'm doing a video on this specific coin. Well, the good news, it allows you to mine this coin on GPUs and CPUs, and it's actually profitable. So it's like another coin to add to the list of recent CPU mineable profitable coins. Oh, that is a mouthful there. But yeah, so I'm going to show you how to get started and how to mine this coin if you are interested. And there's a lot more to come with it, obviously. They have a website, they have a Discord. Myself, I'll tell you a little bit, I've been like in mining this project since September, but that was on the old algorithm, on the X16R algorithm, which is dominant by uh, ASICs. But they recently changed that algorithm to uh, X16RT and uh, Minotaurx or something like that. It's the one that Litecoin Cash uses, but I'll show you all that in the video. But these are GPU only algorithm and a CPU only algorithm. So it lets the network, you know, be a lot easier on the GPU so you don't have ASICs taking it over or all these crazy equipment running in order to outpower our GPUs and CPUs. But before we get started, this is all just speculative mining I've been doing and I'll let you guys know that as well. I'm not trying to say you're going to get this and get rich and this and that. This is just a project that came across and figured to share it with you guys. But the first thing you want to do is come over to the GitHub link I have in the description here. Uh, GitHub.com forward slash avian network forward slash avian. And I'll post that so you can go to it. And this will bring you to their wallet page. And as you see here, there's all this information. You want to come over down to the releases tab on the right hand side. And you just want to click on the releases, either the plus four or the releases button itself. And right here is the most recent wallet, which is what you want to get because they've had a lot of like updates in the past like week or so because of the algorithm change. They had some trouble implementing it, but the dedication from the dev team kept me interested, kept me going because they were actually fixing it, showing they cared, spending hours and hours and hours on and fixing it. But what you want to do is scroll down to the assets area here. And whatever operating system you have, you just want to select it. So Linux, Mac, Windows. I already have this running on my uh, laptop for my, my wallets. But all you do is select it, it'll download, and then you extract it. So and then once you're in there, you want to open up, I believe it's the QT or SRC file. And then you want to run the avian-qt file. And that will open up the wallet. So it's just like any other ordinary wallet for Bitcoin, Litecoin, Dogecoin, you know, all the videos I've showed you. You just open up the wallet and then you let it sync like normal. And then you'll be good to go with the wallet side of things. All right, guys. So I'm just over on my laptop here. And I just wanted to show you the wallet itself because it's easier with the visual representation. It's just an older laptop, so I don't really have a screen recording software on it. But when you do download the zip file from GitHub there, it's gonna open up just like this, and then you can right click and then 7-zip, so just like this. If you have 7-zip, and then extract to, and then the wallet itself. But once you extract it, I already have it done. It's gonna be extracted to like a folder just like this. And as I was saying, you're gonna open this, and then you're gonna run the QT. Sometimes there's the SRC folder and you have to go into that. But looks like they formatted it just to have the QT and everything and the daemon and the client just all right here. So once that folder is all extracted, you literally just double click the QT file and that will open up the wallet itself and that will start syncing. I hope that just cleared it up compared to like the voice tutorial there. Alright, so for the next part, I'm going to show you how to do the GPU mining side of things on the X16RT algorithm. So for NVIDIA graphics cards, you want to get the T-Rex miner here, and I'll post the GitHub link in the description below, and it's going to be the same process as what you just did with the Avian thing for like the releases. You come over on the side tab here where it says releases, you click on it, and then you want to find the one with the X16RT algorithm. I suggest you just scroll all the way down here, 
you just want to go down to page 3 and you want to go all the way down to the T-Rex version 19.4 that's the version they recommend like the avian devs recommend to use if you're on Nvidia and I've used it and it works well it's solid I haven't had any crashes issues even can overclock and things like that but you might be wondering oh what if I have an AMD card well you can use the wild rig um, multi miner and it's going to be the same process just click on the releases and it's going to bring you here and I'm, now I'm not sure because I don't have AMD as well like I don't have um, I don't have AMD graphics cards so I can't tell you if which version has the X16 RT I believe the newest one does as well it could be the same for T-Rex miner but I'm just going off of like the stable versions the ones that have gave me no issues but just download the newest one see if it supplies the X16 RT algorithm for your AMD card and then that will get you running for that so well as quickly I'm just gonna show you I'm just gonna download the T-Rex version 19.4 here just because I have in uh, Nvidia I'm that's what I'm used to working with so what you want to do is come down to whichever version you have and it depends on your CUDA version too I'm just gonna click the CUDA 10 because that's what I normally do use so once it downloads here it might pop up saying oh you have a virus whatever but it might not just like this all right so and then you just want to open up your documents wherever you saved it and you just want to use 7-zip here or whatever extractor you have and extract it to the folder and once it's extracted you'll see it below but don't click on it yet because what you want to do is come over to the start menu and you want to click on your settings you want to click update and security you want to click Windows Security, Virus and Threat Protection, and another window will pop up. You want to click on Manage Settings, scroll down, add or remove exclusions, add an exclusion, and then you add your folder, and then you just want to select the T-Rex Miner or the Wild Rig Miner, depending on your graphics card, and you click Select it, and then a pop-up will come up, and you just click Yes, and this will just allow it so it doesn't give you like a virus warning because it's an unpublished... Uh, unverified publisher so once you are done with that like allowing it through the exclusions <clears throat> you just want to open up whatever minor folder you like downloaded and allowed through the exclusions and then you're gonna see a bunch of these batch files and different files I'm just gonna use this one here the Raven 2 miners and then what you want to do is right click on any of these I just like I said just use this one if you want to follow along and then you just click edit and then if it asks you just open with notepad you're going to see all this information here and as you see here the first line you're going to see oh what's kapow well that's the algorithm so first off we're going to change that to x16 rt all right and then you're going to see here's the stratum and now this is where the pools come in now depending on the pool you do want to use i'm going to show you a few different ones here <clears throat> there's a co coin miners pool and that's a pretty solid pool i've used it i have good ping to it they pay out every 30 minutes with low payouts and then you have Zpool here, another great pool like I've shown in the other videos. They also have Avian Coin, and then Zerg Pool as well if you kind of want to do solo. So Zerg Pool and Coin Miners has solo. This the Z Pool is just more of actual pool mining itself. But after you select whichever one, we'll just go with Z Pool here. So once you're on the home page here, um, you just want to scroll down, and you're going to see a stratum generator. And you're just going to select what region you want. So for like your server and stuff, or wherever like you're closest to. So for me, North America, because that's where I'm located. And then there's going to be a drop down with the algorithm. And then you just want to click X16RT. And then you can put your payout address and stuff. But what we're really after is just a stratum rate right here. So what you want to do is right click and highlight copy. Open up the notepad and where the old stratum is, you just want to click right click and paste. And I'll put the new one in here and then you're gonna see dash you and then for a username here what you want to do is just we can remove that and then you just want to put your um, avian network wallet address once uh, you get the wallet downloaded you can uh, set up a receiving address and you just want to paste that rate after the username and then for passwords since we're on zpool you want to do c equals a v n and that will allow you to mine that coin there and then you just click on file and save and then that will save the config file here and like i said this is for z pool each pool has their own configuration setup so if we were to go to zerg pool here it's the same type of thing north america 
and then your algorithm and then down here you have the choice of regular solo and party so you can read up on the different variations of each mining thing and then it's gonna spit out a whole command line here so if i were to click solo after the symbol is like you want to put the m equal solo part so just pay attention to that for each pool coin miners has their own tool uh own as well so if we scroll down on the coin pools x16rt you'll see there's right here they have a whole bunch of different servers depending on the flag and region looks messed up because of my theme for google chrome but it shows all your pool stats and everything and down if you scroll down it has like instructions on how to do it like what information to put in so you replace with your avian address and then the password the password's always different per mining pool um z pool in zurich uses c equals part because it's the auto exchange i believe it is and this one is just directly mining it so now we'll go on to the cpu mining part it's pretty much the same thing but what you want to do is you want to come over to srbminer.com and this is going to allow you to cpu mine at least this is what i use obviously there's variations of different ones for whatever your preferred preference is but you want to click on download and then you see this button here download from github as you see just a lot of github downloads but it's trusted it's easier and then it's going to bring you right to the releases tab and then you just want to click on whichever operating system you have and download that one so we'll just go with the windows one i'll do this along with you guys too because this one's a little bit like a little bit different of a configuration file like the layout looks a bit different so as you see google chrome picked this one up so we just click keep keep anyways it's just because it's unverified it's a minor we all know this drill but this is going to be the same process here you just want to extract the srb miner and then you just want to go to start menu settings update security windows security virus and threat protection manage settings add or remove add folder and then you can double click into it and then just click on that one just to ensure that you are do, uh, allowing the program to go through not just the empty folder itself so then you just click yes on the pop-up and you just allow that ex exclusion through so once you have all the exclusions let through you just want to go to the srb folder that you have downloaded and then you just want to open up both of them there and you're going to see pretty much the same kind of layout here just a lot more batch files the one i'm going to use because it's pretty well set up with it already is the start mining litecoin cache batch file you'll find it just a little ways down here and you just want to right click and edit on this one so you can open this one up and you'll be like whoa this one looks a little bit different it's because it's a multi-miner so you can do gpu and cpu but i'm using it just to focus on the cpu aspect so as you see off, off the start here it has disabled gpu so that way it's gonna not focus on your gpu part and then just only cpu an algorithm just like i said here the mino torex i think it is i can't pronounce that one i'm very bad at pronunciations but make sure that one's typed in if you select the litecoin cache file like i did it'll automatically be there and pool the pool is going to be the same thing so except for the fact we're going to change the algorithm so we'll just go to z pool again for a quick example so on the drop down here you just want to look for that cpu algorithm that we had there we go mino torx i don't know if that's correct but so it's the same thing you just highlight it right click copy and then you want to paste that right in there and then for wallet it's just going to be your wallet address for avian again and then password you can take out this starting stuff here and you can literally just we'll cut that out we'll just leave it like that and then you put c equals avn which is a symbol for the avian coin and then you start that up and you'll be cpu mining as well and it's pretty profitable you can try solo mining with gpu and cpu since it's a fairly new coin so you might have some luck if you have some little bit stronger hash i mean i'm only at like 20 20 to 30 mega hash and i um hit a few blocks myself so the luck is there if you have good connection and everything and if you know it's just luck of the draw really if you're doing solo mining but yeah once you have that you click file save and you run that and you'll be good to go for cpu mining but yeah the i just wanted to show you guys this overall because like i said it's a new project and why not get in a little bit earlier if we all can as a community 
start mining it and then you, like i said you can join the discord they have a website also i'll post the website in the description below so you can check out their roadmap and everything they have a lot of features they want to bring in and actually make this a legitimate project like i said a lot of devs would have just backed off and left after like a few errors or after even like a month they've been working on this like for a few months now and they had it released like i said on the old algorithm but a lot of people wanted just graphics cards and cpu only so they listened and then they incorporated it even though they had some issues they battled through it and got through it and that's what you know kind of kept me in the project but yeah sorry if this was a little bit of a longer video i just wanted to like explain my stance on why i was doing it because a lot of people make these videos and they get paid off or this or that i'm just doing it because well you see my channel i'm just full of mining and opportunities and since this is a newer coin it's going to be a good opportunity for our lower end graphics cards because even myself i don't have high-end equipment so i try to scour and find good things here and there and who knows where this will go like i said speculative mining don't take like any advice just if you want to throw a graphics card at it then go for it or if you want to throw a cpu miner at it go for it i just know the cpu mining has been a big thing lately and a lot of people are trying to get into it but there's not many profitable algorithms for it so figured to show you this now that a new coins come out on these algorithms because before there was no coins pretty well on these algorithms so that's a good thing. Hopefully this video helps you guys. Like I said, sorry if it was a longer video. I just want to explain everything clearly as best as I could. But I hope you all have an amazing day. And if you enjoy my videos and my tutorials, make sure to hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button as it really helps me out. As I know some of you like to watch my videos as returning viewers, but don't hit that subscribe. So what's holding you back? Why not hit that subscribe button? That's all I got for you guys today. And this is Krebsy Crypto signing out.